This video is sponsored by Skin It. Skin It, what's your skin? Welcome to another Touch You video. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to install these Skin It skins on your iPhone or any uh, tech gadget, really. So, okay, I'll give you a brief uh, rundown of Skin It first. So, Skin It is basically this company which makes awesome and fantastic skins for um, pretty much any tech gadget. It could be your notebook, um, maybe your computer monitor, um, iPod touches, iPhones, as I'm going to demonstrate here today. Um, pretty much anything. They make loads of skins and you can customize your skin. Um, so as you can tell, I customized this skin over here. So it's a uh, Tati 105 skin, which is pretty cool. Um, and I just have the red at the front. I didn't think know of anything that I could put there, but I have the red at the front. So um, I'm just going to show you how to install the skin. So let's get started. Alright, so your first step in installing the skin is to take off any case or whatever on your iPhone or really any whatever you're using or a skin if that exists too and you may want to remove your screen protector too but yeah I'm gonna remove this case here real quick um, and the second thing you want to do as on their application information sheet um, is to clean it so you can use any cloth preferably a microfiber towel um, dip it in some water as I'm gonna do right here my iPhone away. Dip it in some water. And then squeeze it out so it's damp, not like soaking wet, because you don't want that. And then take your uh, tech product and uh, just clean it. Where we see, uh, well, not scuffs, but like any marks. The cleaner the uh, object is, the product is rather, um, the easier it will be to apply the skin. So. You want to clean it as good as you can and remove any water with the dry side. I'm just going to put the water away because water and electronics have never been a good idea. Well, the combination of both. Let me just clean this. And it's um, reasonably clean right now. It's not like totally clean, but it's, reason it's reasonably clean. So I'm going to be applying the front piece in actual real time. I'm going to do the back piece in slow motion, but yeah, let me just get started with this first. So I'm going to take uh, the uh, bottom piece first and just peel it as set on the little thing over there. And you want to prop the holes and whatever out. So I'm going to do right here. Just prop that out. You're not going to need this for now. Um, you may want to apply it, but I'm not going to. So you're going to have to center it right on your iPhone. So this might take a bit of a while. Please bear with me. That's pretty crooked. Okay, uh, please bear with me here as I try to get this on. And there, it's on. Actually, that's a bit off. I'm going to peel it. Or can I? Okay, so you can peel it up and adjust it if you should need to. And once you're done, you just want to remove any bubbles, which there are none of, since this is a really high quality skin. And just, just pat it down, you know, you, you don't want it to move around, so just pat it down. Once you think you're done, you can look at the skin over there. It looks really nice, actually. Oops, I just dropped my iPhone there, but... Okay, I'm going to take the top piece, which is a bit harder, because you have to rip out a few pieces. Okay, so got the top piece out, and um, all you're going to have to do for, I believe, this 
version of the iPhone. It, well, this is a 3D, so you're going to have to take out all three of them, I believe, because of the sensors there. So, you, yeah, just bear with me here. I'm going to see if I get 3G connection with it still on, but I doubt it. Let me just put that down. And let me just place it here. Once again, please bear with me. I'm trying to get the earpiece all centered here. This is a bit tricky. Oh wow. I don't have the steadiest hand in the world. Okay. So I've got the top piece set on. And as you can see, there's no air bubble, so I'm just going to go to the side right now to see, um, if I'm getting 3G here, so bear with me here. Um, let me just check it out right now. Alright, so after my testing, 3G has been working with no problems. So I wonder why they have those little two slits over there. I'm not too sure. It looks more like something the iPhone 4 could use, but I think they got my order messed up, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it is for 3G, but I'm not, con uh, but I'm not having any problems, so you might because depending on where you live but yeah so um, now I'm gonna install the back piece as I said in uh, fast motion so let's get started alright um, so I'm done applying the back as you can see it looks really nice um, I did encounter a problem and if you guys saw the time lapse because it was going like, really quick but um, I believe it was this side, what side was it? Yeah, this side, when I was applying it, I had a bit of a problem. As you can see, I peeled it back up a few times. Um, the camera hole piece actually stuck to it because you have to rip that out, so it stuck to it. So I tried to keep on reapplying it, but it didn't work. So then I saw it, so I peeled it out. And um, yeah, as you can see, the skin looks really nice. It just removes, you know, how fingerprint catchy, I guess you could say the iPhone is. And at the bottom, a little focus, the Skinnet logo, which is actually rather small. Um, and you can also get that removed if you pay, like, what, uh, extra few bucks, which is pretty good. Um, I did encounter a few problems during the installation, obviously. Um, the problem was that, as you can see here, uh, it's, uh, if it focuses. Yeah, if you can see there. Um, it's a bit bumped up. Um, uh, it's because it wasn't st well, it was sticking to the iPhone pretty well, but bad on my part. But um, basically, it, the way it's made, I guess, it just bubbles up over here. I tried to get rid of it. Um, it's it's, it's going to gradually get rid of uh, as you casually continue to use your iPhone. Um, but yeah, take that into consideration. Uh, um, it would help if they included a squeegee and a different install method probably such as you know where you spray your iPhone you spray your fingertips and then you squeeze it out the water those methods have seemed to be a bit more effective for me but I mean uh, well, they're actually going away uh, if you just rub your finger on them they'll go away um, which I just realized I should realize that before but as you can see my iPhone looks really nice with the skin on I just love it because <laughs> Let's see if we can put a case on here. No need to put a case uh, unless you want it protected. But let's see if it peels off the skin. That would be a. Nah, it's actually pretty tight. Oh wow, the case application actually fixed the uh, bubbles up here, which is pretty good. Overall, I give this um, skin at skin company. Um, after looking at the review for this uh, iPhone, um, a four and a half out of five. It's a really cool. Uh, uh, website and you can customize your skins to whatever you want um, and they have really good shipping as well and um, this is like the application instructions in case you want to read these pause the video and read these but yeah that's about it I have my shipping information on the back Oopsies. my shipping information on the back so I'm not going to show you that side but Overall, this is a really nice skin. I'll give it a 4.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching another Tattoo 105 review.